welcome to my channel. I'm Crafty Lady Ada. Uh, today we're going to be doing a very special project. Now if you like what I do, please subscribe and tap that notification bell. It lets YouTube know you like my videos and you want more. And it will also remind you of when I upload another video. So you won't miss anything. Okay? Well, with all this being said, let's get started. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm Crafty Lady Ada. Uh, today we're going to be doing a, an, an, an Easter painting. I'm going to be paint, showing you how to paint an awesome rabbit with a chicken. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a canvas. It could be a flat board canvas or it could be a stretch canvas. This one's a 11 by 14. It could be any size you want it. And the colors I'm going to be using right now is uh, yellow, red, white, titanium white, Mars black, and burnt umber. Okay? Well, with all this being said, let's get started. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to make some little marks so you'll know, and some basic shapes so we can make our bunny. So, what you're going to do is you're going to put your finger in the middle and you're going to put a, a, a quarter of the way from the middle on this side, which will be about right here and do the same thing on the other side. Then you're gonna come about a quarter of the way up and make another mark right here. Okay, now, we made this mark here, so we're gonna go a little bit more higher up and make it about another quarter of the way up. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to connect them. So you're going to make kind of like a little bulb You're going to connect the bottom one down here. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make another mark here and another mark here. And we're going to connect these three dots here. See? The dots. We have a dot there, a dot there, and a dot there. We're going to connect them into a little ball because this is going to be the top of the bunny. You know what? It's going to have to be a little bit further out. Sorry. Maybe about right here. Okay, now... We have the centerpiece here, so we're going to go ahead and make two more marks. Okay, we're going to make one about here, about maybe, and one about there. It's gonna be the inside of the ears. We're going to make another mark here, and another one here. That's gonna be the outside of the ears. Okay, now, we're going to go ahead and make the ear. It's going to be about up to about up here, okay? It's gonna be pretty high up. So, make a little dot. So what we're going to do, okay, we're going to go ahead and start here. And we're going to make it a little bit of a bump. Okay, then we're going to come Get a little curve. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and come here. Okay. Okay, now we're going to do the other ear. So you're going to go ahead and, and mark, make a little mark because this, this ear is going to flop over. So what you're going to do is you're going to kind of 
kind of bring this down. Okay, so all I did was just make a dot here and a dot there, and I just connected it in a swirl this way, down. Okay, you don't want the ear to be too far apart. Now what we're going to do, we're gonna work on the inside of the ear here. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to measure about right here, okay? It's gonna be about right here. And you're going to connect this with that one. Okay. See this one? You're connecting this one with this one. And it's even with this about right this right here. Now you're going to go ahead and get this. And we're going to go ahead and just connect this down to this. So you want to maybe like measure it a little bit. Okay. erase because this eraser is um this eraser is um just for this okay see I got the bunny ears okay okay guys we're going to go ahead and use a large bristle brush. Um, let's say maybe this one. And we're going to use three colors, black, brown, and white. You're going to put a little bit of black, a little bit of white. I'll use this one. And a little bit of brown. And it's this burnt, burnt umber brown, okay? You're gonna mix it and you're gonna get kind of like a, a grayish color. But you know, you can do your background, whatever whatever you want. You may wanna do a sky, which is a blue background. You may wanna do a green background. You may want to do just a neutral background, like what I'm gonna do, so that. That's what I'm gonna do, a neutral background, okay? Okay, you want to mix your brown, your black, and your white. And you're going to get kind of like a, a brownish gray color. And uh, just keep in mind that since you're working with black and brown, when this dries, it will dry dark. So you might want to lighten it with some white, okay? Then just make sure that you get yourself enough here You may want yours to be brown or I want mine to be kind of a little bit like a brownish on the brown side. the outside okay just uh, kind of paint all around the outside of the brush and just uh, put a light coat 
don't like put a very thick coat of paint you don't want that so let's go on to the next thing Okay guys, now you're going to get some white, okay, and you're going to go ahead and add some white to this, a little bit to this gray to make it lighter, because we're going to use it to outline the, the fur on the hair, on the rabbit's hair. So, I'm just going to get some and just make it a little bit lighter. Okay, now. Try to get it as light as you can. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and paint the inside using the same brush of the ear. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your round brush and you're going to spin it to make it a little bit more of a point. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to get this, we're going to make a line.
Okay, now we're going to do the middle part. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the medium bristle and we're going to do a dotting technique, okay? Now guys, we're going to be using our medium round brush. We're going to be working with pink, white, and brown. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a little bit of the brown. And we're going to kind of like put a little bit here. Make sure you're using a dry brush, okay? Let's just get a little bit of pink, a little bit of brown, and we're just going to blend these in. Okay, now you're going to get a little bit of white and a little bit of pink. What you want to do is you want to give it the inner ear effect, okay?
just kind of get a little bit of the pink and kind of blend it in a little bit. Okay guys, I'm gonna take this uh, this big brush and I'm going to kind of like get a little bit darker gray. And I'm going to use a tapping method. I'm just going to kind of like tap it a little bit here. This is gonna be the face. And now what I'm doing is I'm going to get a little bit of white, just a little bit, and I'm going to tap it up here because this is a fur. Now you just want to kind of like tap it a little bit and just uh, blend it all in. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to get this brush and we're going to kind of like do, so, do the bunny's hair. I do a little bit of the fluffiness in the bunny. bit of the hair coming out this way just a little bit
now you're gonna take some black paint, but instead of black paint, I'm gonna use this marker because I have better control over it. And I'm going to start on this corner of this eye, right about here. And we're going to make a little arch. And then from this ear, we're going to bring it and curve it down. We're going to do the same on this other side here. We're getting ready to do the eyes. And then we're going to bring it. Like that. Okay. Okay, now guys, what we're going to do is we're going to do the eye. So we're going to kind of like bring it here. We're going to do a big round circle. Okay, we're going to do the same thing over here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our paintbrush and we're going to paint that black. Well, this is take your your gray a little bit and kind of paint this in so we can uh, put a little bit of a You can add some white, a um, little bit of white fur. Okay guys, let's just uh, do the same thing for the other eye. You're just gonna give it a little bit of Okay guys, let's just put a little teeny bit of, oh my goodness, little teeny bit of haze of gray, not too much. Okay 
Okay, guys, now let's just get a little, put a little bit of white to put a reflection on the eye. The eye is kind of round. Okay, now let's add some to the other side. Okay guys, we're going to go ahead and make with this light shade of pink, we're going to make the nose. So we're going to start with a little V. And now we're picking up a little bit of brown to kind of like start forming the nostrils. Okay. Okay, guys, now we're going to go ahead and give him a mouth pink Okay, we're just going to give it a little bit more, a little bit of white. I'm going to put a little bit of white in here. Okay guys, now we're going to start with a chicken on the head. So we're going to do like an oval type starting up here. I added a little bit of yellow and white to make it kind of like a lemon, a lemon yellow. do the top of the head so we're going to do kind of like a little shape up here And then I'm just kind of tapping it to give it a little bit of texture. Give it a little wing here on the side, like this is a shoulder.
we're going to get a little bit of orange and white. And we're going to very lightly make his beak. Just like very lightly. With a little bit of brown uh, here you're gonna put a shadow under his feet okay Guys, now we're going to add a little bit of shadow, so you're going to get a little bit of black. You don't want too much black, you just want it mostly water. We're going to add a little bit of shadow down here.
we got the shadow, we're gonna use a little bit of black to kind of work it down here. Okay, and then just add a, a little bit of white to the wings. Maybe a little bit of white under the under the Just add a little bit of white up here to the top, not too much, just little dots. Okay guys, we're almost done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our big brush and we're going to give our eyes that brush stroke. Okay. 
And then just uh, add a little bit of hair with your dry brush. Okay, now we're gonna put a little bit, few more whiskers, just use white. We're just gonna kind of like spread the whiskers around. You know what? I'm gonna need a smaller brush for that. This one is too big. I need a smaller brush. Um, how about this one? This one's good. Just making it look like okay, so just uh, kind of like work on this area a little bit. Just make sure that you don't have a Okay, I'm just adding a little bit of white here to the nose to give it a little bit more definition. And then I'm just getting this white and I'm just kind of like dotting it a little bit to give it a little bit more. Okay, and let's just add, you know, a little bit more hair. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna look like he really needs to. Kind of fix these a little bit. And just add a little bit of gray in here, not too much. Give it a little bit more definition. You might want to use a little bit bigger brush like this one, so let's dry it. everyone here is the finished product wrap it in the chicken mr rabbit 
So if you like what I do, please subscribe, tap that notification bell, and YouTube will notify you of any and all upcoming videos. Okay? Well, with all this being said, keep on crafting.